So we're gonna take this Maverick XLT hybrid for a little nighttime drive for you. Put it in reverse. It's got the backup camera and the backup warning. Since there's no engine noise, it warns people that there's something backing up toward them. The turbo version does not have that backup warning. So, you can see how bright the LED lights are. It's super bright. Going downhill, you can see the batteries getting charged from the regenerative braking. I know that's that typical Ford turn signal. Sorry, it's been like that forever. I don't mind it. There's an EV coach that tells us. How we're doing so we're going uphill right now not too much but enough to engage the gas engine look at those trees all lit up park city has a lot of trees like that just gorgeous all year round not just christmas anyway going uphill you're gonna use the gas engine and what you'll see is going downhill even at high speeds you're going to oftentimes use the electric motor oh right now the auto high beam came on and it shut off just then again because it's a car approaching and we're stopping at a light Battery's charging, and the brake coach comes on and tells me I returned 100% of the energy on that brake job. So it, it helps you learn how to brake to efficiently charge the battery. It's a nice little drive. There's Park City Mountain, Canyons Village. Big Park City bus. Yeah, this drives really well. Oh, that, see, did you see that high beam, auto high beam come on? For a short period. And there was cars approaching, so it shut off. It senses cars in front of you and cars coming at you. That's why the car in front of me, even though it's pretty far down there, the auto high beams will not come on because it would still annoy them being that far away. Frequent wildlife crossings. Oh, don't speed. It is 45 miles an hour here, so I'm right on the money. So I'm gonna push the button right now on the end of the stock you see that little symbol come on. It helps you engage in the lane and it tells you if you're getting too close to one side or the other. I'm also gonna turn on cruise. It's a button right on my steering wheel. And I can set it at 45. Here we go. I set it by just pushing up on the button next to the turn on button for the cruise control. It's got a red light coming up. It's 
slowed down, so I'm actually in electric mode. I'm going to turn right here. And we're going to see how the MPG was going with a slight uphill most of the way. Let me turn around. In order to get a summary of that uphill trip, I need to shut it off for a few seconds. And it says we did 19 minutes, 28.1 MPGs, 4.4 miles, 1.1 of it was electric going generally uphill. That's about one quarter, 25%. So now here we go. We're going to see what it's like going back down the hill. It's not real steep, but it's a general downhill. High beams are on. Here comes the car and the high beams shut off. The electric motor working, even at 45 miles an hour. So instead of 25% of the ride being in electric mode, um, this is going to be a lot higher. I have lane keep, but oh, just turned yellow because I'm a little bit over to the right. If I went too far over, it would have turned red, like, let's see, like that gave me a little vibration on the steering wheel too to warn me. Okay, so now we're going uphill. You can see the gas motor kicked in to keep the speed. The high beams came on and off just now because of the car approaching. Okay, now we're going downhill charging if I you can see the EV coach is telling us it's charging if I step on the gas it just changed to electric mode stepped on the gas again If I step on the gas even more, it switches to gas engine because I was asking for more power than the electric motor had available. So watch this, charge, slight touch of the gas pedal, goes to electric, and I can slowly increase the amount of the electric usage of the motor until I go right there past it a little extra speed so I'm going to slow down now let it charge auto high beams came on they shut off because that car is approaching coming back to all these beautiful lit up trees. Okay, we're back to charging. My lane keep was giving me a little warning. It, was, it went orange, now it's green again. Cruise control's on 45. Right now we're in electric mode. Nice and steady. I'm gonna give it a little bit more speed and now we're gonna slow down to this red light. Can you hear that sound? 
That's the regener regenerative braking. Oh, 95% brake coach. Energy returned. I stopped, you see that auto hold light came on. I let I took my foot off the brake. Now stepping on the gas pedal. Starting off in hybrid mode. Charge and in electric mode. Just amazing how it adjusts. Right turn. Stop at the gas station here and see how we did on the downhill side of that short little trip. Remember, it was about 25% electric motor on the uphill leg. So let's see what the downhill leg says. 100% brake coach energy returned and auto brake hold is engaged. Let's take my foot off the brake. You can't really see it down there, but my foot's off the brake. The car is still on. It's still in drive, but it's not going anywhere because of that amazing feature that I love. It's one of my favorites. I've never had that before. Auto brake hold when you stop. Okay, so I'm going to shut the engine off right now and let's see what the trip summary says. Okay, 118 MPGs, baby. Wow, 4.8 miles, 3.7 of them were in electric mode on that downhill leg of that short trip. Phenomenal. Thanks, Maverick. We just filled up, 40 bucks, not bad. Went a long way on eight, on, uh, eight gallons. There it is, the Maverick XLT hybrid. Lux package 360 with Alto Blue. LED headlights. Auto high beam. They look amazing. Here in Park City. Thanks for watching everybody.